Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey. I'm here with another Pokemon Sword and Shield Showdown Live, and today we're going to be featuring Ice Q. Now, if you guys didn't see my moveset video, feel free to check it out earlier. Um, well, it was up earlier, excuse me. But we have Belly Drum Ice Q on a sticky web team. By the way, this is passed to me by Haneke plus uh, Karna. And um, we have Sub King Shield Aegislash with Sandaconda for rocks. Drakovish. I can't wait to use this thing on its own team, man. I'm going to use Bandit, man. Uh, we got R uh, Rabambi with the webs, of course, and then we do have a uh, parting shot more Pico. So this is pretty interesting. I actually like this, and it gets rapid speed, if you guys didn't know. So this is a pretty cool little combo that this Pokemon can run. I can't wait to actually show that on off either. But yeah, we're just going to look for some battles and um, hopefully get some things going. This is actually a fantastic matchup, I would say. Uh, once I manage to get up webs, also the dude literally loses to Dracovish. Uh, though he does have size and tone, so that's something to keep in mind. Hmm. If he leads off with his own Dracovish, I, uh, even if I go out to my own, that's not good. Uh, well, I mean, when I say fantastic, I don't mean fantastic, but it's a decent matchup, I feel. Because I think that Ice Key can do it, especially if webs manage to stay up. Which they can do. So I I'll go off and see if we can start it off with the webs. Um, this thing might just U-turn on me. I could technically Dynamax here, but if I if I if I weaken the if I weaken the Mandibuzz, uh, at least to the point where I can potentially get up hazards on it, that'd be great. Now my dude does end up making the Dragapult play. Uh, I don't think that my Morpico has the most use in this game, as he goes for Flamethrower. Which is Life Orb. Uh, I get my Angry Bow, but that's not going to make a difference. Which is Parting Shot, just in case. I kind of... They might fear me being Choice Scarf, so they may switch out into Seism Toad. Exactly. Or, or Amanda Buzz, that works too. Yeah, awesome. So we can bring out Rabombi here. I have an option to Dynamax right now and to knock him out. And I kind of want to take it. Considering I can get up webs in a later, like versus Silent Toad or something. I Maybe mean, I just get up webs in his face. Okay, cool. So then I'm going on to Darmanitan. And I get my webs up, which is going to make uh, Ice Q a giant threat now. It's going to make it a giant threat. Of course, this mod is a threat in itself. I'll just sack more Pico. I don't think it has the best uh, chance here, as I mentioned before. And um, I'm in. And honestly, I think this Pokemon can kind of just almost win. Okay, he's 100. I'm going to have to weaken them and then maybe bring out Ice Q after that. Yep, okay, I know how I win. We're going to low kick here. Uh, I didn't want them to be the... Uh... I did nothing. Are oh, they actually defensive on their team? Perfect. Okay, perfect. So... Uh, with the fact that the webs are up, great, I'm going to deny everything right now. They don't have a resist to the fairy attacks, so I'm going to use my Rabambi early to get rid of their Mandibuzz, and then to then use my Ice Q to hopefully win. That's the idea behind this, because now they don't have a, they don't have a fairy resist at all on their squad. So I'm going to do as much damage as possible, get some beautiful damage off. I don't end up surviving their attack, which is very sad. They could... So you have, I have some options here. I could go out to Ice Q now and set up. I want to set up in front of Darmanitan. I think that's the play I make. And I think I actually click Outrage. Even though Misty Terrain has weakened it, it forces in Darmanitan in my opinion. Uh, even though Misty Terrain does weaken my Outrage, uh, even if they go Silent Toad, Every bit of damage on that is going to matter and for my Ice Q to hopefully late game win, which is what I'm going to go for. So I'm assuming I could potentially win it with Darmanitan. It might be a little bit rough. Toxic is smart. Uh, I'm going to make the uh, Santa Conda play because I think I'm going to be fa I'm going to definitely be faster. And they double Toxic in Misty Terrain, which is funny. But we'll get a Brox there. That way my dude doesn't have uh, any extra HP on the, Dermat uh, on the Dermatitan and Pelipper dies as well. And this allows me to click Earthquake here on Seismitoad. Their rocks up, I think, are irrelevant. I think, anyway. 
Because basically, I have the damage I want on Seismitoad. And depending on what they got into, uh, I can always go out into this Pokemon and click Outrage. But I don't want to win that way. So that's not the way I'm going to win. Uh, I think the idea is I force Galarian Darmanton to come in. Oh, don't, win, don't win the game now. That's not what I want. You go Darmanitan and you have to Dynamax, I think. I think that's what you have to do. Which is going to give me the opportunity to belly drum up with my ice cream. Exactly. Please knock me out. Hey, hey, and it gives me hail as well, which is so sick. Uh, so ideally, I don't kill them here. Perfect. And they got the fire up. All right. I'm in. I'm in. I belly drum in their face. I have my ice. I have my ice to save me. And assuming I connect every single attack, I win. We're in a liquidation here because we don't have to risk missing. Assuming I connect my ice crashes, I win. And this is what I was going for, a, an ice cube late game sweep. I really hope this happens because I, I did have other ways I could win this game a little bit easier. But obviously I want to show off the main Pokemon I'm featuring, right? So, if I if I lose based on Ice Crash, I'll be a little bit sad. But I, I figured that their Manhattan had to Dynamax there, and this is that was the position I wanted to be in, uh, for sure with that Pokemon. So, ah, uh, nice plus six Ice Q under Sticky Web. Let's see how this goes. And I got the extra damage I needed on their Manhattan too, so liquidation with KO. So that was really important too. Um, again, I, I could, there there was other plays I could have made, but I was trying to make it come down to this. I really was. Hey, man. Dracovish ain't gonna save you, buddy. Well, I mean, it could if I miss. Hey, but your boy didn't miss. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, Sizemso can't even kill me. <laughs> Sizemso cannot even kill me. But getting rid of that mod is very important. And I do have an Age Slash as well. Uh, I guess I guess if even if I get burnt, as long as I get some damage off on Sizemso, Shadow Ball from Age Slash will knock it out. But, yeah, I'm really glad in the first game we were able to get Ice Q to do something. This is good. This means the entire life, this mon could die turn two. It is, fam. It is. It's not you, right? It is, fam. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yo, I, I had a crazy, I had a crazy, uh, I had a crazy, oh, please tell me my audio is recording because I, because I might have messed up. Hey, good game. Not bad. Ice Q put in the work and got that sweep at the end. Let's keep going. That's, that's it. That's that's literally what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Ah. Okay, in this one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I love Santa Conda because Excadrill is a really early, good early lead. Um, and I... And even they go hard Rotom. Actually, I, I doubt they go hard Rotom, yeah. That is perfect. I, I don't mind them going Rotom now because ba basically I, I broke the sash on extra drill. So I'm kind of going for the exact same thing in a sense. Uh, to be able to win this game by... Um, oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I literally click fi uh, Ficious Ren with this mod. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go more Pico because more Pico doesn't really have a use in this game. As they get up a Reflect. Oh boy. Might as well Aura Wheel into Parting Shot on the extra drill. That way they can't do anything. Like if they. That's Sash Drill. Um, I'm assuming this is dual screens, Rotom. Uh, that's very scary. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. That is that is incredibly scary. But every bit of damage on Rotom is super important for Belly Drum Ice Cube. So this is cool because I can Parting Shot here. And use my Age Slash to Spin Block. It doesn't matter if they click for Earthquake there at all. I'm basically trying to stall out as many turns of that screen as possible. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care. And they do have that light clay, but it's fine. I go out to Dracovish. They have one water resist, and it's not you, <laughs> and it's not you. <laughs> so, 
Um, and the great thing is that if Rotom comes in, we already know Rotom has a light clay. So uh, that damage on it is basically non-recoverable. I'm assuming it's Volt Switch dual screens. And I keep the rocks up. Perfect for Darmanitan. And more importantly, I get rid of the... Um, I get rid of the Sticky Web user. Oh, excuse me. Um, I get rid of the... Uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? The Spinner. So Dragon Ball comes out. And Dragon Ball is going to be a problem. Uh, don't get me wrong. Dragon Ball is going to be a problem. I'm hoping it's physical. That way Sanaconda can do its thing. I'm going to Earthquake just in case it, uh, it subs. Exactly. Please break this up. That is very sad. That is very, very sad. But the cool thing is, I'm pretty sure Ice Cube beats you 1v1. Like, I'm fairly confident Ice Cube 1v1s you. However, I might not use it to sweep in this game. How do I? How can I sweep if I... I'm going to have to use Dracovish to sweep if I 1v1 you with Ice Cube. Look at this beast, man. Sandaconda, man. What a beast. Oh, you know what the other cool, cool thing is? That should... That should break my ice face. Yep, that breaks my ice face. And I get to set it up back again. Unfortunately, my hail is obviously broken. Um, well, that is broken, excuse me, about me. But... I at least... The other one's going to eat it. That's fine. Hey, go ahead and your citrus berry. Hey, go ahead and give me that Dragon Ball. That's how you deal with plus two, plus two Dragon Ball. Shout out to Ice Cube. Um, I'm still not in the clear yet, but Dracovish is looking incredible. I'm going to be honest. That mon looking kind of incredible now. Ah, perfect. Bro, is he sub belly drum as well? Oh my gosh. There we go, young blood. There you go. There you go. That's very unfortunate though, because I, I I may actually no, I win. I literally win. This doesn't kill me. I have rain up and I'm fast and everything. So I think I did it. Don't freeze me. Thanks. One. I got rain up for one more turn, bro. Go. You better not go Rotom here. You will die. You better not go Roto. Uh oh. Ah man, I got rain up and I'm fast and you guarantee this is doubled in power. It didn't kill. What a a sad day what a very sad day and that didn't kill either but then again that's really sad I don't think I can uh, can I beat Sylveon maybe I can had I if I switched there would that have made a difference that would have to come down to this Pokemon okay sticky web and DD I still have a more Pico which can only hit you one turn that's very sad hey, it doesn't matter man I got the quiver in my, I got the para in my favor right there. The thing is, they more than likely have the, uh, exactly, mystical fire. Now that doesn't matter because of shield dust, but what matters is the fact that they have the, <laughs> I need them to get para until light screen dies. I need them to get para until light screen dies. Otherwise I lose the game right here because of the reflect. I'm pretty sure I lose anyway. But again, uh, excuse me, to reflect dies. I need them to get para to reflect dies. <laughs> Go, buddy! Oh, it still wasn't enough. Hey, good game, good game. All right, that was still fun. Um, so I think the uh, the, the what I should have done there was I, I I didn't I obviously was lost in the fact that the rain and the reflect wasn't up. So I thought I didn't I didn't remember about the rain. So I thought that I'd still be able to knock him out with the Fish's Friend. Had I not been able to, what I would have done was switched out into my uh, Rabambi there and did the same exact process versus Sylveon, but basically be able to bring out Dracovish <laughs> and uh, click Fish's Friend. And if, even if that didn't knock it out, I still had uh, more Pico in the back. But I'm, I'm still having a ton of fun with this team, man. Uh, this guy has Court Change, which is going to be annoying. Have fun, dude. Ice Q is okay if I can weaken Rotom, so that's going to be very important. Uh, and this is super good versus me early. Um, let me actually have a game plan real quick. Well, it's really hard to make game plans when, <laughs> when everything can change in one move. 
I love more Pico's ability to be annoying here. Okay, honestly, Dracovich is good because it at least forces Rotom to be a lead. Then again, Rotom is just so good versus me too. I'm just worried about Cinderace as well. 409. He has Rotom, which is not going to take much. And he also has Course Love, which is going to activate Cursed Body the second I touch it. So there's not even a point in thinking about that. Uh, Santa Conda helps me out versus Cinderace. You know what? It's fine. If it goes Rotom, I can always switch out. Yeah, it leads off a of Cinderace. That's completely fine. I'm going to get damage off right now on Rotom with Stone Edge. Uh, if he opts to go out into Galarian Corsola, then I will... I will paralyze it. I... <laughs> I will paralyze it with glare. <laughs> like, I don't care. So, I'm not going to click rocks here. Uh, until he goes, potentially, of course, a lot. Yeah, because if I can get damage out of the turn. I got zero damage out of the turn, which is really annoying. Because um, he can court change, if anything. That's super annoying. Like, I need a hit off on that thing. And he's free to hide your pump. Luckily, he clicks Volt Switch. So, I'm going to assume that that's actually not defensive, considering he has a Corsola. And I'm going to assume that that's offensive. So I'm actually going to go for Earthquake here. I'm going to assume that that's offensive. And you know what? He was offensive because he opted to Dynamax there. And that's completely fine. That is actually fine. And what I'm going to do now is instead of using my webs here, because I don't think I need them, uh, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to get as much damage as possible on the Rotom. Uh, he already uses Dynamax, which is great. And um, so I'm going to get off as much damage as possible. And then be able to go out into Dracovish. Drakovish and knock him out. Oh, bro. You can move the rocks over all you want, buddy. You can move them rocks over all you want, buddy. Like, I'll, I'll get Sticky Web on my side. I have Rabbit Spin as well, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'll get webs up on your side. It's not... Is it necessary, though? I feel like it's not. Let me go for it anyway. Yeah, perfect. All right, so uh, we at least get the webs up, and we have Cinderace paired. And that's super important. That's very important. And I can rapid spin away if, if I need be. I have heavy duty boots on Morpico, so I'm not as worried. Um, More Pico actually isn't terrible here. Um, that Scarf Rotom, though, very, very, very annoying. Scarf Rotom super annoying. I don't think you have very many switch-ins to this Pokemon. So I'm actually going to Flash Cannon. Uh, if you Trick here, perfect. That actually opens up Ice Q a lot. So I would rather you Trick. But I'm assuming you're going to Volt Switch, exactly. And Flash Cannon hits everything that you would bring in on a Shadow Ball. AKA Grimmsnarl. <laughs> that boy took some damage. Let me outplay this thing real quick. Go for a sub here. Oh, that's pretty important, my friend. That's actually pretty important. Yeah, that's pretty important, obviously, because I don't get paralyzed. So, I mean, getting rid of the Grim Snarl is beautiful. Uh, that opens up Ice Q so he can't sucker punch me. But he still does have this Rotom, which is so frustrating for me to deal with. Dracovish is still really good, too. I'm going to go more Pico because I'm pretty sure what he's going to do is... well. Well, I was pretty sure what he was going to do uh, was to court change, but at least now I can actually make it that I'm faster than this thing, and then I can rapid spin away the hazards. So, uh, we're going to go for, I mean, faster than uh, Rotom, excuse me. I hope Dracovich can beat uh, Como. Nice. Is it soundproof or bulletproof? That makes a difference. It is soundproof. Ah, uh, okay, but it's physical though. It's physical. It was soundproof, but it's physical. If I belly drum... 
Do I just crash? I think I, I do belly drum. Uh, I don't think I, unless you have a special move, I don't think I die. Yeah, you break my, my thing, but if I Dynamax here, does that make a difference? I don't think so. I think I have to Dynamax on Rotom. And hope he stays in. Is it better to get up my sub? I think I'm, I'm, I'm not weaker, so... Let's see if we live. There we go, Ice Q. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> and there's no priority that can kill me now, baby. I don't think the crit mattered because I'm plus six. And that's offensive Rotom. But getting rid of Rotom is so good for me. Because Dracovish just clicks Ficious Ren. And this move can't miss. Ah, nice ice cue. There we go, baby. And now I just go right on to my fishish render and click it. Hey, <laughs> good game. Good game, dude. Ice cue kind of clean, man. And that hail, I mean, I didn't use it there really, but uh, being able to get up the hill is so cool. It sucks that uh, plus six did not KO, uh, obviously. But yeah, like I said, I would have rapid spell with more Pico, if anything. Um, I'm fine with it going down there, too. And I, I didn't know if it was bulletproof or soundproof. On Como, so I stand by my play. I see a bunch of physical attackers and I see an ice cube. I'll be honest, I see a bunch of physical attackers and I see an ice cube. He does have a defogger in Corviknight though. Hmm. I'm actually really weak to Goliath as well. Okay, I love Age Slash early on. Um. You can do a lot of work if you're Dynamaxed. Yeah, you can do a lot of work if you're Dynamaxed. I think Santa Conda doesn't lose to something at preview. Yeah, exactly. Especially not you. So, give me damage on Tyranitar. I'll get him up myself, my man. Thank you. <laughs> much love, much love. So, we get up our rocks as well for Goliath which is going to be very important for Ice Q since I can't kill it in one hit. Um, I'm assuming maybe Ferrothorn wanted to come out. Fair a problem. But I got Rabbit Spin and Belly Drum on its face, so. I could also make it that I'll never be able to attack again. Yeah, that much I'm fine with. More Pico is actually really good here, but I'm gonna use it to get in my Age Slash safely. Actually, no, it's better to just Fire Fang. Get as much damage. I, I get a crit. They do got paralyzed. Watch him get full paralyzed here, too. Very unfortunate for my opponent right there. Seriously, it is. I assume Glycepod's gonna come out. I really wanna click. Nice, perfect. Yes. I really wanna click Aura Wheel, but I feel like this is the type of dude that will get tilted by that and stay in. Okay. I don't mind Tyranitar coming out. I got the damage I need on, uh, on Ferrothorn as well, so... Yeah, I got the damage I need on Feral Thorn because it's physically defensive. I can Rabbit Spin here. Let him knock me out. Get an Ice Cube. Belly Drum in his face. Oh, yes, Thunder Wave. No! Oh, that's so sad. That is so. Bro, why is this a Brazilian T Tar? Anybody, if anybody knows where that reference is from, you're a GOAT. I can still win this game because Dracovish is pretty powerful, but... And he also opted to not KO me for whatever reason. Um, oh, come on, man. Wait, what? Why? I'm faster than you, my friend. Oh, Dynamax, okay. Smart man, smart man. But I mean, yeah, I'm plus six. So he gives me Ferrothorn and his Dynamax, which is great. So that means Toe can be, a uh, Toe can't be that annoying. Uh, this can, I mean, it's still annoying, but it, it, like, it can flinch me. And he flamethrowers to knock me out. There we go. 
However, the GOAT is in, the GOAT is now. You better show me a vicious Ren switch in, buddy. Uh, if y'all didn't know, also, like, switching in moves like Volt Switch also boosted because I think the way the turn order works is that... They changed the way the turn order works, excuse me. Actually, this thing might be Scarf, so it could be a problem. The last about those, check by H slash, especially because I'm max speed. Uh, Corviknight can beat me. <laughs> yeah, real talk, Corviknight can beat me, depending on the set. I hope he goes hard into it. All right, Saxon Car, which is fair. Go ahead and give me that. Hey, Dracovish is in. Toekiss comes out. I'm going to assume that this is your game plan here. I'm just going to Shadow Ball. Just, just as much, like, I got to do as much as possible to this thing. I did 30-something percent. I can't let him bulk up. As he defogs, defog does not matter at all at this in this state of the game. I honestly think that was a misplay. He's obviously max special defense, by the way, by the fact that I'm max special attack. And Goliath's going to be forced out. So if Corviknight goes down, uh, I'm pretty sure H slash wins on its own. I want to say H slash wins on its own. Uh, I cannot let it get tricked, though, but... Hey, yo, Ice Cube kind of clear in this, man. Why was he... If he wasn't Thunder Wave, and I, I would have been able to go back and forth between my hail and do so much work, man. I would be able to go back and forth between my hail and do so much work. Glyzabot comes out. We're just going to King Shield here because we don't have to worry about you at all. And we're going to lower your stats. And I'll go for Substitute as well as the Aqua Jets. Cool. I'll King Shield one more time just to get a little bit of recovery. Just a little bit of recovery. There you go. So Aqua Jet will not be able to break my sub now. And I'm going to be able to force him out into his Toyokis. And basically, because I'm behind a sub, Toyokis cannot flinch me. At all. And I believe uh, Shadow Ball knocks you out. I'm not going to not Shadow Ball. I'm not going to Flash Cannon and let him bring out Golizabot to break me. I'm not at all. So, I believe it's game. Exactly. I didn't want to Flash Cannon. I didn't want to Flash Cannon there, have Golizabot live, and then have it click Sucker Punch to break my sub. So, all I had to do was make sure that Age of Slash could not uh, allow that Pokemon in. And even though that breaks me, I can go right for the Flash Cannon and finish him off. And that would be game. Y'all, this was a fun one, man. I know we're only at 28 minutes, but I kind of want to talk about this mod a little bit. I feel like Ice Q is going to be a lot better, obviously, in the lower tiers. There were some games there where it was able to put in a ridiculous amount of work with a little bit of luck, of course. Uh, Sticky Web, is, I think, is a really nice combination with it, too. Uh, one set that I actually liked a little bit more than this set, um, and I, I think it would have been very prominent here, is the, uh, oh, I was supposed to be saving the replays uh, for Pedro. Oh, my bad, Pedro. My bad. Uh, but one, because uh, he, he likes to use them in my moveset video. So um, one set that I think is uh, might be a little bit better in current OU might be Sub Belly Drum. Now, obviously, uh, I, I talked about in the moveset video, but Sub Belly Drum doesn't allow you to hit Toxapex, which is terrible, right? Not being able to hit Toxapex is terrible, but that can be, you know, you can, you can help that weakness by using something like Doug Trio to trap Toxic Bex, but the, the idea behind Sub Belly Drum is that you have a Salic Berry, so I'd be able to outspeed Pokemon like Choice Scarf Rotom when I become the Nice or the No Ice, the Noish uh, form. So I think that that set might end up being a little bit better in the long run if you opt to use it in higher tiers, but again, uh, with Sticky Web, you pretty much deal with that. But just because of the amount of Scarf Rotom running around and the fact that my Ice Face doesn't uh, protect me, the fact that my ice face doesn't protect me from um, from special type attacks, right? It's not like a disguise. It can be busted. It will be busted. Uh, I think that the uh, the main thing you can take away is that, you know, Sally Berry might be good because you can outspeed Roto. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you everybody for so much of the support on the channel. Uh, I went live for the first time last night on my Twitch. I have been at A-Drive's house for, for a while, but I went live for the first time at night on my Twitch and we had uh, like 3,500 viewers. Uh, granted, I got a host, but I mean, I had like 1,500 viewers on my own, which is still crazy. It was like a, it's like a 1 a.m. stream, random 1 a.m. stream, but uh, and and we got 15,000 subscribers as well. At the point of me recording this, it might be more by the time this video goes up because it has a little while till it goes up. So I truly do appreciate it. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the competitive community. Uh, I care less about me growing as much as I care about competitive as a whole growing because I do know that in turn I will have some benefit from that. But just the fact that we could get people to love. Or that people can love what I love so much. I think it would be really cool. But yeah. 
That's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Charlie Manders made this background a while back, and I had to use it again. I don't know why it reminded me of Ice Cube. I'll see you guys. Goodbye, my friends.